OK, so in this example, we've got two trig curves. We've got y equals sine x and y equals sine 2x. I've superimposed one on top of the other, and I want to find this shaded region. Now, I know that this is going to be 0, OK, because I know that's at the origin. However, I don't know where these two curves intersect, OK? So what is that x value? So I'm going to have to put 1 equal to the other and solve this resulting equation. Now, it may not be immediately obvious as to how you could go about doing this. However, if you have met the trigonometry chapter and you've gone all the way through that, and you've gone through the double angle formulae, you should know that sine 2x is equivalent to 2 sine x cos x. That is a double angle formula okay, that we need to remember. So with that step in mind, I should now be able to use my trig knowledge to be able to solve this. So I need to subtract the sine from both sides. You can then factorise the left-hand side, like so. So either sine x is 0, or cosine x is 1 half. Now I know that sine x equals 0 will give me, as I can see from my graph, 0 or pi or 2 pi Right, So none of those are what I'm looking for, because there's 0, there's pi, and I know it's somewhere between 0 and pi. So, uh-uh, not that. So let's try cos x equals a half. OK, so cosine of x equals a half. So cosine of x looks like this. There's 1 half. So it's looking like this value here is going to be very promising for us, OK? So what is cosine x of a half? Or uh, cosine x equals a half? So 1, 2, root 3. This is uh, pi over 3. That's pi over 6, OK? The triangle that we need to remember. Or if obviously you can do inverse cosine of a half on your calculator. So we're looking at uh, wanting that to be the adjacent um, over the hypotenuse. So if that's the adjacent, then we must be looking at pi over 3. OK, so a quick check on your calculator in radians should agree with that. OK, so 1 third pi, pi over 3. Right, that is the one that we want. That's the first one that cosine comes across. And so this is pi over 3. Brilliant. So now I can work out this area. Because if I find the integral um, of sine 2x evaluated between 0 and pi over 3, what that will do is it will give me this total area from which I can subtract the area of sine x between 0 and pi over 3. OK, so sine 2x, what does that integrate to? Well, that would be minus 1 half cosine of 2x. OK, because I know that in differentiating that, cosine goes to minus sine, once you knock out the minus, the 2 will come out and multiply with the half to make 1, which is, leaves me with precisely what I want. So open up a bracket, we're going to have minus 1 half cosine of 2 pi over 3. And then take away, substituting the 0, so minus half cosine of 0. OK. So minus 1 half times cosine of 2 times pi over 3 is 1 quarter. Take away minus a half times 1. So we've actually got a quarter plus a half. So that's 3 quarters. OK, so now I need to find the integral of sine x 
dx evaluated between 0 and pi over 3. So sine integrates to minus cosine. So we've got minus cosine of pi over 3. Take away minus cosine of 0. Now, uh, negative cosine of pi over 3 is, of course, minus a half. Adjacent over hypotenuse there. Take away, well, minus cosine of 0 is minus 1. So we've actually got minus a half plus 1, which is just a half. So the area is equal to 3 quarters, take away a half. Which is actually just one quarter. So that exact area is one quarter.